Welcome to the Dr. Beasley's Clean Room, everybody. I am the Director of Success, Chris Ricana, and today we are here to talk about what comes first, ceramic coatings or paint protection film. But before we dive too deep in that, I do want to ask you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, go ahead and tickle that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video on the Dr. Beasley's YouTube page. The short answer is PPF first. Paint protection film and ceramic coatings, they're both protecting the paint, but they do it in different ways. PPF is physically preventing foreign objects from coming in contact with the paint. You have a physical barrier there in that paint protection film versus a ceramic coating, which is creating a surface that is so slick and slippery that those contaminants can't stick to it. So because that paint protection film physically blocks the paint, there is no advantage to putting ceramic underneath PPF. So that is why we're gonna lay down PPF first, is that initial line of defense, as that physical barrier for your paint, and then you would come back with the ceramic on top to make that slick, slippery, and contaminant resistant surface easier to clean and maintain. So here's something else to consider. Remember how ceramic coatings, they're there to reject any contaminants or anything else that would be on top of your paint. Well, if we have a ceramic coating and we are trying to glue paint protection film, that paint protection film might have premature failure because that ceramic coating is trying to reject the adhesive that's holding it down. So we do want to start with paint protection film because if we started with a ceramic, that may cause premature film failure. So when we are in the protection phase, of our process, we are gonna to wanna to start with paint protection film. That's gonna be our first step in the process. And then we're gonna come back with that ceramic coating. Now that ceramic coating can go over that area of paint that is not protected by film and also on top of the film as well. And what that ceramic coating is gonna do for the film and the paint is create a surface that is extremely hydrophobic. So it's gonna push off water. It's also gonna help resist contaminants. It's gonna resist etching and staining. So this way, whether it's your painted areas of your car or your areas that are protected by paint protection film, those areas are gonna be easier to clean, easier to maintain. You also want ceramic protection on your film because what causes it to yellow? What can cause it to crack? It is that UV radiation that's beating up on it constantly. And a ceramic coating is gonna lend itself to extend the life of your film and the paint for those unprotected areas because these ceramic coatings are gonna give you that UV resistance, that staining resistance, contaminant resistance, and of course that oh so important hydrophobicity. So of course there are several products out on the market that you can protect your paint protection film with, but here at Dr. Beasley's we have our film coating kit for glossy films. And then we also have our matte film coating kit, which is intended for non-gloss. So whether it's satin, whether it's matte, basically anything but gloss, you're gonna go with the matte film coating. Because again, the whole idea there is matte stays matte, satin stays satin, gloss stays gloss, nothing changes. Here at Simon's Detail, we do feature legend paint protection film, but we do encourage no matter what film you are using out there to get protection on top of that film. The fact is many of films will show some hydrophobic action for the first four to six months of their life, but the reality is that doesn't last forever. So that's why you really should have a dedicated ceramic coating to protect your film and your paint on your vehicle. Thanks everyone for joining us with this little discussion about paint protection film and ceramic coatings and when to do what. I do want to remind you one more time, Victor and I work super hard to bring you these films. So show us that you like what we're doing here by smashing that subscribe button. And you know what, while you're there, go ahead and tickle that notification bell. So that way you're notified every time we drop a new video on the Dr. B's YouTube page. One last thing, people, please, personal favor, help me educate America. If you are on the expressway driving in the left lane and you are not passing anyone, it is time to move over to the right because the rules of the road, people. Left lane for passing, middle lane for cruising, right lane for entering and exiting the expressway. Thank you so much, everyone. Drive safely.